In this TA Tech Tip, I will demonstrate how to reinitialize the RCS coolant accessory and the DSC gas supply to the DSC after the instrument has been sitting idly for some time. As you can see, the RCS is off. Prior to turning on the RCS, turn on your gas supply. Then power the RCS on and ensure that the second switch is set to event mode. The event mode allows you to control the RCS from the instrument control software. Moving on to the DSC touchscreen, you can turn on the RCS by selecting from the pull down menu, RCS, on, and then apply. You can hear the RCS compressor begin to come on. There is a message here that says, it is recommended to enable go to temperature to avoid frosting of the cell. You may do this from the touchscreen as well by pulling down on the menu, selecting go to temperature and selecting apply. Alternatively, you may be able to turn on the RCS from the instrument control software, which we'll demonstrate. Now we're in the Thermal Advantage instrument control software. You can note that the sample purge flow is set at 50 mL per minute of nitrogen gas. The flange temperature as well as the cell temperature are both above ambient. To turn on the RCS, select Control, Event, On. You will hear the compressor on the RCS begin. There is a message to enable go to standby temperature to avoid frosting of the cell. To do this, select OK, Control, Go to standby temperature. Once the RCS temperature or flange temperature is subambient, you are ready to begin your experiments.